All right, so are we ready? Yep. So the first thing is, is that you put your thumb inside the loop, right? I usually start with the back of the hand, all right? So Jennifer's gonna put her thumb in the loop, all right? Start with the back of the hand. She wants to keep the fingers wide, right? And what does the hand wrap really do is it just provide, provide support to the wrist and to the metacarpals in the back, right? So it doesn't need to be like so tight that you can't close your hand. I typically do one or two wraps in the wrist, then one or two wraps across the hand. All right, now once you get the base started, remember that the knuckles is kind of the thing. I'm have a closer hand and make sure it's not too tight, all right? And that's reasonable. Now, once you get here, you can open the hand back up. And if you want, this is where you're gonna start going through the fingers, all right? So I wrap around the thumb to the finger, all right? You gotta keep that thing wide. And if you fold it, that's also okay. That's a technique I've seen, all right? And I'm gonna go back around the hand. All right, when I come back over this way, I'm just going to do one more around the wrist, by the way. I think I got enough to get each finger. Come back up through, fold that over the finger, all right, back around the hand. And then I got one more, I should have enough to go around the wrist. All right, let's go a little higher. All right, so then you got this little bit of excess left, and if I've done it right, you shouldn't have to make a twist. But if I've done it wrong, you just make a twist. Now see how it has the Velcro on the outside? And you just do that. If it's wrong, you just make a twist, right? So then it will come out right. For example, I did it intentionally upside down so you could see, but this one came out right. Now, once you get, and you always want this, by the way, down in the wrist. Once you get that good, she can tell her to make a fist, all right? It should be reasonably supportive, okay? And then she can tell her to open her hand and relax, and then you start looking at the fingers, right? You should see the capillary response. So it's nice and pink. I push it, it should go white, and then back to pink. If the hands turn white or if the hands get cold, you got it too tight. Remember that people that think that this thing's got to be so tight are really concerned that the hand itself is gonna break when you hit. But generally speaking, with reasonable amount of uh, security with the wrist wrap and then with the glove on top, you're not gonna break your hand. I'll be honest with you guys, most of the time, I don't even wrap my hands. And when I've taken fighters in the past, I put two wraps of regular medical tape and then two wraps around there and I'm done. And I've got other you know, trainers I've seen, they'll stack gauze on top of the knuckles and they'll do all kinds of stuff to keep you from injuring your hand. But it really becomes, in my opinion, a way to uh, make a compact fist. Basically, they think it's gonna help their fighter hit harder. And that is basically it. So, Mr. Robinson, if uh, even if they got this hand wrap on, does it mean they can just punch, you know, however they like, or should they still maintain so, technique? Great question. I definitely think that we should keep the wrist straight and flat, right? We should keep the hand tight. So if the hand is completely loose or the wrist bends this way, then when we hit, we're still gonna have this kind of effect. The hand can torque one way or the other. The thumb is the one that I see get injured most because the thumb is kind of out. We wanna keep that thumb wrapped tight around whenever we're fighting. But most gloves these days, boxing gloves at least, have got a, uh, uh, a secured thumb so that the thumb is sewn in so that it doesn't come apart. Um, the other thing that I would tell you is that I could put that wrap on my hand and I could put my hand through that wall without a boxing glove and it will not hurt my hand. Wow. So the thing that I'm saying is that it's reasonably secure. We just don't want the, uh, the bones to expand this way. When we hit and there's all that shock wave, we don't want it to expand, which is typically how people get uh, metacarpal and um, bone injuries. Cool? Cool. All right.